Mangrove Jack on the left. Yep. T58 on the right. Yep. In terms of color, identical? Yeah, I think so. I mean, they're like uh, brownish hues actually on the edges. No, um, and I'm getting, you know, it's almost like a Coca Cola sort of caramel. Yeah. I uh, agree. The caramel uh, sort of a brown hue. I agree. It's kind of nice. So, nose on the mangrove jack. Quite malty. Hmm. I was getting sort of hops first. It's like a sort of juicy fruit, sort of uh, yeah. bubble gum, sort of. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Hmm. It smells really fresh, really crisp. Hmm. I do get a hint of malt in the back, and then there's also a bit of alcohol in there as well. Yeah. It is about a 7% ABV beer, so... Hmm. But it's very low. Uh, the alcohol's very low, but it's detectable. Mm -hmm. Do we give it a taste? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Chocolate, malt. Yeah. Sort of like a dark Munich malt. Mm. Bubblegum sort of notes to it. Yeah, a little bit. Caramel. Uh, not sweet or cloyan. It's a uh, dry aftertaste, dry finish. Yeah, a little bit. And it goes away pretty quickly. But the malt stays though on, on the tongue. I get it in the, right in the back, right on the back sides. Yeah. The maltiness sort of lingers a bit. But it is dry, it's a dry finish. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Same same notes all the way through. Good good carbonation. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's perfect. Nice dark ale sort of uh, carbonation. But the hops were more pronounced before. How old is it? I think it's about a month or so now. Okay, four weeks in the yeah. bottle? Yeah. I forgot to check, but I can, uh, yeah, I'll find it out. I'll put it down below how many weeks it's in. Mm. So. These are, these are bottle condition too, by the way, and I don't get any yeast flavors from this. No, I know it's very clean. Mm -hmm. So I uh, kegged, I used two kegs. I kegged, the, I made two batches though, so I get, put one batch into each keg so I know which, which is which. Mm -hmm. I also did the same with the bottles. I just marked the cap on the bottle so I knew which is which. Okay. So they are all the same. They're brewed on the same day. They've been fermenting side by side at the same temperature, pretty controlled temperature. Uh, they were sitting at 22 C, I think, for the duration. I think they sat for about three and a half weeks. Interesting. I've been playing with this one quite a bit. It's rolling it around, drinking it, and the head comes back after you sort of swill it. You can see, you know, mostly due to carbonation. But I haven't swilled this one at all, and the car, the head is just sticking around. Yeah. That's quite nice. But even though it's the same beer, it's just a different yeast. Yeah, so that's that's has a little, lot, a little more residual sweetness to it, sugars to it. I think that helps a little bit with the head. What was the uh, final gravity on this one? 10 11. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's, uh, so we can get a nose on this one? Yeah. Compare. Okay. You can smell that this one is sweeter. Yeah, that was candy. I'm thinking just yeah. straight up candy. It's like hard sort of candy. Uh, That's awesome. all I'm really getting off it. No definitive malts from the yeast. Hard to say. Uh, uh, hard to say. I'm not a T58 user, so I don't know. I don't have any reference. For the T58. 
understand. But I did have one from the, in the, um, there was one beer that was in the, the UK Smash Off that used T58. Okay. And that was pretty, I got a lot of sort of bubblegum sort of notes from that one, I remember. This one does not have the bubblegum notes that this one has. Mm. There's no juicy fruit. No, it's not. This one is definitely fruitier, cleaner. I think this one's definitely more just generic, hard candy sort of aroma. Cool. Yeah. Shall we dive in? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Different. Yeah. It is different than the first one. More mouthfeel. Not, not in a bad way. No. Different than the aroma is uh, clear. It is different than the aroma. Not in a bad That's way. It's more mouthfeel. It's it's bigger. It's creamier, smoother somehow. Mm -hmm. In the mouth. But it, <clears throat> for as dark it is it, as it is. Yeah. It's not got a huge multi backbone to it. No. It's like, if it wasn't dark, it's not intrusive. you wouldn't even think it was dark. No. If this was a light beer, blindfold me, and I would think that this was like, just brewed with pale malt. And that's about it. Yeah, that's make, that makes it very Moorish, recessionable, sort of, mm. for, for the style. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. So if you have a sip of the other one now, you'll notice that that is a lot thinner. First of all, it's from it attenuated down a bit further. Hmm. It's definitely definitely noticeable, I think. It is thinner. It seems more carbonated, actually. But uh, that's totally good. Are we double fisted? We are. We are no doubt. We are double fisted. So. <laughs> But over the last week, the hops has real, really mellowed mm. down. So this is starting to change character a lot from my previous tasting of the, the two hops. Okay. What the, sort of, the, two, the two beers. What sort of multi or what sort of hoppiness did you get from it? Was this Cascade? Yeah, yeah. that's Cascade. So I made a hop tea. Yeah. And then, yeah, so it's, it, had, it had those sort of pine notes to it. Not so much the grapefruit, but more mm. just pure pine in both of them. Hmm. So the hops were, were um, much more alike in, in the beers. Now they're a lot more different, hmm. just for, from the last week. So. Hmm. Good, so a couple of weeks ago I did the taste testing of the both, both of the beers. I did one on Wednesday and the other on Thursday. So. Now it's funny because I think I like the aroma on this one on the uh, on the Mangrove Jacks better. Yeah. yeah. But I think I like the taste on the T fifty eight better. Yeah. It's odd. <laughs> it's odd. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of taboo here. Yeah. And mix them. I'm gonna do a little bit of mixing. <laughs> just to see what I get. Oh, let's just go all in. Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. Hmm. See how that goes. Smoothed it out, I think. I don't know what your ratio was, but hmm. I had less of the mangrove jack. I think it was about 50-50. Okay. Yeah. Yep, so the aroma now is a little bit more, has more to offer, has more characteristic to it. Yeah, at least on the nose. It's not just the candy. And if I can say so, yeah, I was just about to say that the bubblegum notes are almost gone. Mm. Uh, in, at least in mine, it is. Mm -hmm. A little bit more, uh, a little bit more multi. Yeah. Definitely multi. Mm -hmm. Definitely more multi. <gasps> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh. In my opinion, mm -hmm. the blend yeah. is better than either or. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. is. <laughs> the blend was... Why did not I think of this before? <laughs> Maybe mm. there's something to them sour beers blending. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get a little up light on the beer. Mm, right. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I really like a, uh, as you can see, how cocoa amber sort of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can see some floaties around in there. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Thanks a lot for sharing this with me. Uh, it's my pleasure. Very interesting. Yeah. It's a great experiment. I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was very, uh, I, I was very happy with the results. Mm -hmm.